walking to the party with a blunt like Wiz Khalifa. She just put on Jonah's music and she fucking blew a speaker. They wanna know where Jonah from. I'm the one that is teaching. I don't really drop my music, but when I What's up, guys? Happy Valentine's Day. We just dropped these two new Varsity Letterman jackets. We restocked the pink and we made a baby blue colorway for you guys. Go to strawberrypark.store right now before it's too late. And if you want to be updated with all of our future drops, follow our clothing page on Instagram at Strawberry Park. Love you guys. Now let's get into the vlog. All right, guys. New day, new vlog. I saw somebody comment on our last vlog that they weren't feeling the hour long vlogs. They were like, during COVID, it was easier to watch a full hour. But nowadays, if you guys probably broke them up into like 20 minutes, that would be easier to watch with how busy my schedule is. I'm open to any suggestions. And that one just caught my eye. So I wanted to ask you guys real quick. Do you guys prefer our vlogs to be longer or more compact with a whole bunch going on in about 20 minutes? You guys let me know. We're open to anything. We're just happy to be doing these again because we haven't done them in so long. So Matt's here again. He's filming right now. And he was like, cool, we got something crazy to film for the vlog today. I said, yep, we do. This is Matt's first time hearing this, but basically for today, there's gonna be a carpet guy coming over and he's gonna replace the carpet in this entire townhouse. New carpet is gonna have a new fresh feel. And basically I just wanted you to like help me move all this furniture like downstairs because apparently they're gonna go like top to bottom. So for today, I just kind of using you as like a labor handyman. I thought we were doing like something fun. It is fun. Like it's bonding two guys together, problem solving. Like how are we gonna take my big computers and put it downstairs? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's so exciting. You know, Matt drove an hour here just for that. Let's go. Yes, let's get the carpet cleaned. I have one, two, three, four hard drives. And then in the back, I have all these cords attached. I don't want to take them all out because I have to put it all back together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find some clip to clip all the cords in one. I could probably just film you doing this if you don't mind. Like. Just like that. You said you uh, used to be a mover? Yeah, back in high school, I would uh, go on like Facebook in my town and surrounding towns. I'd be like, oh, if you want a mover, move anything in your house, in and out, I got you. Damn. Quick pass. You're but, back in the game, how's it I, feel? I had to come back out, you know. <laughs> Helping the Strawberry Park boys move shit. It looks kind of nice though. Right? I know, yeah, when you take everything out, like, well, I could be doing some like yoga and shit in the morning here. Put a treadmill up here. Treadmill, oh God, this could be literally a little home gym right here. This could be a movie theater, That's like nice. you said. How'd you guys feel if we do our reactions in the kitchen? We got the corner up a little bit. There's like nails that stick up. I don't yeah, get right. that. And then we have all the stuff down here now. Hopefully I can get all my cords back safely. Good job. Bruh, I was gonna heat this up a little longer, but um, the way that the microwave is set up, I know that Mike's picking up this good ASMR as I chew. Eating some tilapia right now. I keep eating mistaken for Sam Sulek in public. It's like been so annoying. He and I have very similar like kind of chests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pissed off right now because I'll be selling stuff on eBay occasionally. I sold an iPad on eBay. Sold it to him. I think I got like 350 bucks for it or something. In the box, brand new. And the person, it gets delivered. And the person goes, hey, it was damaged. I said, damaged? Send me a picture. They sent me a picture. They had just opened the iPad and like opened it completely. Talking about some, it's damaged. Can I get a refund? I was like, fuck no, dumbass. They did like a whole dispute with eBay and shit. So all this morning I was on the phone talking to somebody from a different country. I mean like, I'm not gonna let them fucking scam me. That I sent them a thing. It was completely sealed. And they're trying to get a refund. So now the iPad's getting sent back to me and I have to like take pictures of it all opened and shit. And I'm just, I'm blessed to be alive. I'm working out with this guy at the gym and I'm like, bro, I'm trying to put on like weight. I have such a hard time eating food. So I was asking him for advice and he's like, bro, you gotta eat fast. Like you gotta just not even think and just fucking eat your stuff with a spoon instead of a fork just to get more on there. And I was like, Brian is a notorious slow eater. Fast eaters gain more weight than slow eaters. I'm a fast eater. Mm -hmm. I remember being in Philly years ago when I used to just go and hang out with them and film videos. I would get like one insomnia cookie and they just order the packs and just like go through them. Like me and Ryan don't get appetizers, but like we have to get separate because I could finish a whole appetizer, main course and dessert all by myself. But the thing is Ryan doesn't like finish the stuff. No, that's the thing. He's, nato like, okay. he's notorious for not finishing, like ordering a lot, but like taking one bite of each thing. And they're not wrong at all. I am a spoiled brat and I will order two entrees and a dessert and appetizer 
appetizer, I have like a bite of each. I just have a small appetite. And I'm the opposite. I will finish it all. It'll be 6 p.m. sometimes. I'm like, damn, I haven't ate yet. <laughs> like, have you got this? Oh, all the time. I'll be editing a video and then it's four o'clock and then I'm like, oh, if I want to make something, it's going to take, take me out of my flow state. So I don't want to get out of this. And then next thing you know, it's 7 p.m. But then I'm like, fasting is good though, right? Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I'm just fasting for the day. <laughs> Keeping up with the gym is already hard in itself. But then when you have to add the health the aspect calories. and the calories and the food, that's the hard part. Like I, I drove by Raising Cane's the other day and I was like, damn, I was really tempted. And I said, you know what? This will be the last day I get it. <laughs> and I texted Ryan. I said, there's chicken, chicken and potatoes and there's lemon in my drink. Like that seems so fried like- Fried food is like one of the worst things for your body. Okay, well, there's like a lot of protein in that, the right? Protein, high protein. It's like a starch, like you need like, it's good for like a balanced sort of meal. Let me tell you something. Circling back to the insomnia cookies in Philly, my freshman year, there was this girl that I dated. I lost my virginity to her or whatever. I don't even know if that's relevant to say, but um, she had some fucked up home situation and was basically going to school for free. Would buy me this six pack of insomnia cookies every single night. She knew the way to your heart. She did. She, yeah, and she was cool. I think she's like obese and has two kids now, but- Never um, stop with the cookies, huh? She no. picked up she where I left you. off. And I don't even know why she, like, I guess she just cared about me. As I was younger, I could do that. Now, I'll eat way better and look way worse, simply because of my body just can't rebound like it used to. I used to be able to live off of chips and I used to be able to run around and stuff. Now I gotta make sure I'm like, have something substantial in my stomach before I work out so I don't pass out or something. I would be doing like an away soccer game, running off of a pack of Skittles and I'd be good. That's the life of being a kid though. That's just like the perks. You can just do whatever. You don't worry about nothing. Even. Yeah. Being a kid is more fun because you don't think about those things and I'd rather not. I was staying on my sweater. I couldn't get it out. I realized it's like oil or something. You see? So it kind of blends. It's kind of like a cat. Like, I don't even see it. Wait, am I oh, this here. Do you see it? It's like somewhere right here. Or am I tripping? Oh no, this is water I just spilled. Oh, you basically got to fight for your life every single day when you're an adult. Every day you're just trying to survive, aren't you? Wherever you go, whatever you do so if anyone has any tips for me to be able to get more oh just drink a protein shake i get nauseous see and you're not like a chugger like i can chug a whole protein shake and just get it done and over with like that's kind of my thing meanwhile i can't chug never been able to chug never been able to eat fast i have a problem with swallowing like a whole bunch of food can't swallow pills i think they could just ingest inject the food into me somehow like a feeding tube or something you can do something like that they have it where you can just they're like bags here right, right that's the thing right don't you have to have like a terminal illness for that shit? no or like back back at our old spot we used to live at I don't know if you ever met her, but there was a girl that she had to eat through a tube, right? Oh, shit. And like, we were up at the loft one night turning up all the neighbors and stuff. And she was pouring tequila shots through the tube. And she was just loving it. Like, she's like, I don't even taste it. I don't feel it. Does that hit quicker? No, and it hit her quick. She like, she they, had to, they had to carry her out. Oh. Like, she got carried away. Oh. Now, if you have to tube feed yourself, is drinking the smartest thing to do to your body? She's not drinking. <laughs> Think about it, that's why she got carried away. Look, cause you still wanna get lit. Like if you can't eat anything, that's the only way you can get lit is through the, like, why did but she literally pumped it in, like she syringed it in like this. What the fuck? Down the hatch. Why did she, too. what is that uh, illness called where she had to be? I don't know, she had some sort of illness, but. One day we were up there, cause I used to go up there and just work and stuff. She just told me like, yeah, like, can I tell you something? <laughs> Mind you, this is just like an older lady, nice lady or whatever. Yeah, so I have to eat through this bag here. Like, oh. so I don't want you to think it's weird because I'm going to be like eating or whatever or drinking oh. something. So I said, oh, no, you're cool. I knew a girl that had a diabetes thing on her arm. What is that exactly? Just checks like the glucose levels or some shit or insulin yeah, levels. You to buy one of those blood pressure things for the crib. <laughs> if a girl has a medical ailment, is that a turn off or like a impartial or turn on? So if you meet her, depends I think it depends. It depends. What's the type of ailment? All right, well, let's say we'll start off simple with diabetes. Diabetes, and she's got the thing attached to her. And then we're on a date and Noah wants to eat his brownie sundae. You want to eat your brownie sundae? And she's, she's like, I could have a bite. And oh, let me check. Are you like, oh, that's sweet. Have you ever experienced something like that? <laughs> Just curious, cause like, I feel like it happened to me once. Then we'll have that go then. I felt bad in a way. She ended up stopped talking to me. Oh, okay. Well, okay. You, you guys weren't meant for each other then. You didn't truly love her. Cause if you did, then you would do anything. You know why? Because I'm super sweet and she's diabetic. Oh yeah, so like the two of those kind of don't really, like can't really go together. But I almost felt bad because she had like the thing and we were like doing it and I was like, oh shit. Like I almost felt like, and I just felt bad. Like, oh shit, are you good? Like, are your level's good? I probably sound ignorant, but I don't know that much about it. So anyway, um, Russell Athletic. Does anyone see the stain or I what? I think you're the only, oh, I see oh, it now. Do you see it now? Okay, now that you pointed it out though. So I'm thinking what if I just put oil everywhere? 
Why don't you bleach it? Bleach splatter. That actually happened to me a bunch of times. My clothes got fucked up and I was stressed it. It's yeah. the grease that you can't really get out. So I might just have to like either grease it all or dye dry, it like dry black. You guys can't take out grease or what? Nope. I remember going to a dry cleaner to try to get a stain out. They're like, oh, we can't do that one. And I was like, it was a Supreme hoodie that I got like chaps. It was like, I don't know if it was oil or chapstick or something. They said, oh yeah, that's not. And what's up with the shoes? Did you try them out? I did. I've been using them. Oh, you've been using them. Mm -hmm. They're right there. I used them yesterday. So why you, why'd you go to the gym and not use them today? Um, Because I didn't do legs today. Oh, okay. So, so uh, only for legs, only for squats, actually. Any compliments on these? Um, No one was looking at me, really. My gym's funny. There's some characters at my gym. There's some there. Looney Tunes. And then there's some like girls that just yell in there. They like try to be like the most boisterous in the gym. Gym. And I'm like, can y'all shut up for five minutes? But they weird. give like medieval, like Peter Panish sort of. I thought we were done roasting the shoes. <laughs> I thought that was in the last vlog. Cause it's in the most recent vlog that just dropped, right? The dance where we were flaming the dancer yeah, guy. Yeah. I was like, oh, is this a Joey Swole thing where it's like, oh, somebody gonna come at us? Someone's gonna come at us. I wasn't really flaming him though. I was like more like, damn, like, okay, I'm kind of impressed. I like Joey Swole and I am for coming at people who are really being disrespectful to others in the gym or being like, oh, this pervert creeps looking at me. And it's like, no, he's not. Yeah. But at a certain point, when can you laugh at people? He wouldn't mind being on the Strawberry Park channel though. He almost probably would love that. Exactly. So you can't get outraged on other people's behalf sometimes. So no. And you see viral videos blow up all the time of people just filming someone doing something crazy in public. Like people post anything. Okay, you can, all, right? We're all in a public. I know is, what is he listening to? I need to know what yeah, music what's... makes him dance like that. Cause maybe there's songs I haven't heard of. He like integrated the dance moves within his routine workout routine and like shouldn't you be allowed to like laugh at that shit he's doing that at the gym like has, on a, a lot pull down machine on so we can't we don't know if he's looking back he's at not him. in the mirror dance room like he's on the lap pull down yeah he was on a dim out in public <laughs> <Just doing laughs> some crazy room. shit like i can get if you're in the yoga room like in your own space nah he was right there while people were lifted which is that's funny and then expecting you can't even look or judge like bro come on bro he did it to me too <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he does one where he like licks his fingers. Oh my God, he's going for a long time. Nah, bro, you're, he's trolling. He's smart. He knows he's in LA. There's producers, executive <laughs> directors, talent scouts, casting directors. Anybody could be working out there. Imagine I was someone that like was putting a show together. I'm like, there he is. <laughs> That's the guy. Did he ever touch any weights? Or was that just all he did? No, with he dance? was pulling weight too, like heavy weight. <laughs> and then it might he, be like a stunt double of some like and they would do I don't a know dance what he too. does for his career. I seen him on the floor like laying down and then he got up with no hands and went like that. <laughs> I said in the middle of the gym, bro. Like, come on. He's living life, carefree. That's the message. I'm ready for him to walk in the gym with the Apple Pro Vision goggles on. <laughs> oh. You're gonna start seeing that though everywhere. Who's gonna buy those for us? That's what Matt thought the vlog was today. He's like, did you guys get those? I'm like, <laughs> Matt, those are $4,000. Matt, those are for the rich YouTubers. <laughs> you gotta connect them to your own personal eyes and shit oh, like that. You have to calibrate oh, them. I heard if like you're on a date, it's always good like as the guy to uh, sit facing. You. The door, you know, just in case anything happens, you could be like on watch out. That makes sense. It shows that you're keeping your head on a swivel at all. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're supposed to walk on the street side if you're on the sidewalk. It's like, you know, yep. chivalry isn't dead. No. I would say I'm a pretty romantic guy. And I forgot, this is, the robot is the waiter. See, that's why I brought you guys here. The revolving sushi is lit because you want this, like all you gotta do is grab it, you finish it, you put it down the plate slot, and it just adds it up. And then at the end you see. So you can just start grabbing food now. Now. Or, or you can you order, order, or you can order Order and it'll come quick right here and you just That's grab it. Right. You see like J Japan and stuff, they have very high tech, new age. It seems like, why don't we have it here? Every restaurant should have a robot. It started with the self checkout. It's like, oh, we don't need cashiers anymore. That's gonna be obsolete in the future. Oh yeah, you gotta order a drink first. Make it a Sprite. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm on my water. I'm, on my, I'm gonna do water. Damn, I'm looking at that Diet Coke though, but I want it. Just the way that the Sprite looks right there makes me want to- Why does that look like- Press it. <laughs> it makes me want to just- Well, I'm gonna do it for the vlog so you can see how oh, it delivers yeah, oh, true. robotically, you know. Okay, yeah. so we'll add the Sprite. So, uh, the Sprite, lemonade, Add the Diet Coke water. because I'm on a diet. It does say diet. Excuse me, sir. You guys have a chopstick trainer? No, we don't. No. I can get you a, a fork, fork spicy mayo. Chopstick trainers, bro. You need the chopstick trainers. I still didn't learn how to do it. I'll teach you. You have to be that guy. 
Not the sushi Matt, do you, do, you, do you know how to use chopsticks? I do. What a disgrace. Damn. Aren't you like kind of Asian? And, like, I am, technically. Okay, but look, I like know how to hold it, but I just can't do it. I'll show you how I do it. Leave it like connected, maybe. I should have done that. I just ripped this one apart. That's why I got a fork. But really though, come on. You look. gotta learn how to use chopsticks. Oh shit, here's our drinks. Bro, this is, it's the eyes that are blinking at the top. <laughs> just drink How I just know. So that's Sprite. what the Sprite looks Thank like. You. Do you tip the robot? That's a good point. Imagine it makes you tip it like, come on, bro, you're a robot. <laughs> You're trying to leave it blocks the door, blinking at you. I kind of picked it up. Yeah, use your that top one as the the mobile one that moves. You know, use you rest it one. in between the fingers or on the finger. I kind of rest it on this one like that. See, yeah, like that, and I kind of hold it in place with this one, and then use this one to grab. Okay, come on, you got okay. it. Okay, okay, Rob's a good teacher. Yeah, a little bit more cultured because come on, you can't be giving that easy one for it, bro. Just for the dessert. I think that's a little disrespectful. I don't know. So I think it's 15 plate. You get a special. Toy limited edition, <laughs> Mr. Fresh figure keychain. I have one more to There's finish one. before my plate in. Fuck. Just to let you know, every time I've been here, I completed the 15 plates between two people. Oh, God, so God. I think we got it. We do it. It's like a buffet without having to get up and go. You get served right away. Like you sat down and could start eat. You could eat the second Wait, you sit down. They need to start doing buffets like this, right? Like, I'm, but again, I'm trying to figure out with hot foods, how difficult is it to ah. have a hot food on a thing? Oh, you're right, you're right. That's the thing. If you miss it, someone else might take it. We'll take that. We're at plate 13. Two more for the prize. Who's excited? We're gonna get a Mr. Fresh figure keychain. If Come we on, get the keychain for your lanyard. I do need one. I'll eat these for it's for Noah. <laughs> I'll get another plate for Noah. This is uh, plate number 14. And I'll let Noah do the honor since it's your first time here. Thank you. I, and I did use the chopsticks, so I deserve to do the 15 plate. All right. 15. Whoa, look at oh, that. Oh, shit. Make sure you're watching. plates have been inserted. Hey, yo. Would you look at that? For me? It's like a pokeball, but like a sushi ball. For all of your hard work today. You learned how to do the chopsticks today, so this is just a gift. Hey! It's literally the sushi on a plate. Literally a mini one of these. But Appreciate like you that. were saying earlier, it's a way, it's a little scheme to get you to buy 15 plates. Yep. Because you can come here and just get a couple, then you're like, you can get a fucking Mr. Fresh keychain if you have 15. I'd rather get a keychain than nothing, though. I eat a lot at, at a restaurant, and I don't get no gifts or nothing. I'm pretty full. Aw, oh, shit. You this see it right there. This is the future right here. Oh, they got them right there. I wonder if you just try it on. Wait. Does it just turn on right away? I've been seeing these oh, everywhere. Wait. Oh, this oh maybe you can't off. try it on. Yeah, I don't think you can. There's, those are glued. The build on this looks crazy. So oh, this, this is what, the future right here. Think about it. This is going to be the worst one they've ever made. In 10 years, they're going to look back and be like, damn, are we released that? Gonna these are like going to turn into contacts. Matt was saying, like, we're going to have phones where you just tap this and the whole screen's going to project. Oh, yeah, why not? See, what I didn't get was uh, Casey Neistat has a clip where he put them on and he's texting somebody. He's really going like... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just display only. So the charger, see. the charger doesn't come out? Let me see if it's even on. Are you seeing anything? Nah, it ain't working. <laughs> what do you do if you have a big head like me? Yeah, just... It's like 5,000 bucks or something. Are there Vision Pro Maxes? Can I like, get a bigger one? Even the Oculus, you can't do what that can do, right? That okay, can... now you have the 15. Is there anything different that the new iPhone's doing? I got the 14, what's the difference? Yeah, I've been using it for a while and it just seems the same as my... <laughs> okay, great. Same as... I thought I was behind. It has a few like new sort of things, but... Damn, but, you know what the cord, this is different, the cord. USB-C, which only made my life harder. I actually spent more money to buy uh, USB-C cables now. Rob said this in the last vlog where, where you bought those very expensive Golden Goose shoes that didn't fit you. Yeah. Did you ever return them? So I did get two more viewers on eBay. So okay. that's something. Okay. So I think I might have to drop the price like exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> What's the word? A lot. A lot. From, my, from what I bought it for, but. So you'll probably lose most of the money you spent on them. But I really wanted some, uh, some Golden Goose shoes, so I actually got another pair. They're, they're different are, style, different style. Oh shit, those are fresh. So these fit. are these are my new Too everyday loose, shoes. Perfect fit? These fit perfectly. How do Golden Goose fit? Do you have to go so you, true to size? It's or? like a shoe, it's like true to size, but it's like uh, European sizes. And these are the type of shoes you gotta wear for a bit and it kind of forms to your feet and it, then it just uh, becomes like that's, a part um, of you. You were saying that uh, you decided to get those because you were trying to grow up, as you said, and not keep wearing Air Forces every day. I was just trying to like we'll move over expand here, so. and try something new elevate my style a little bit. I mean, and, Air Force Ones are just... And that sucks because I literally 
only wear that white Air Force is because, bro, when I walk around so much, as a ex-sneakerhead, like, high school was great because it was floors like this, and I, I never got my shoes dirty when I went to school. So when I got home, I put away, but now that I'm an adult and I have to run around and stuff, I want to be stylish, but I don't want to fuck up expensive shoes. That's so true. And the Air Forces were great, fit great, but I'm like, yeah, I feel the same where they are very basic, everybody has them. I need to get another essential shoe that's like an Air Force that I can wear all the time. So See, I'm testing out the New Balances. These already come fucked up, so I don't gotta worry about like messing them up. It's actually like, you gotta think about it. It's the Italian leather, it's supposed to last longer. It's different than buying like canvas vans, you know? It's like, you pay for what you get. You know that saying, right? Everyone knows that saying, right? <laughs> Here's the thing with buying something like this. It's not like I'm walking around and people are looking at me and be like, dang, he has a golden goose. Right. Actually, I'm just blending in. This this looks like a regular, it's, it's not flashy or nothing. That's how you can tell I bought it because I truly enjoy it and exactly. I like it. They are fresh though. Rob still ain't sold the other shoes, so he's technically still down a lot. But if they, he does sell those for at least half the price, it makes some back. There's some sort of value in it still. It's like an investment, you know? <laughs> Maybe over time that shoe would like go appreciate in value. You know what I mean? I do think even if you resold those used, you would still make a good amount. And I could put on, you know what I should put? Rob's shoes, Rob from Strawberry Park shoes. Are we gonna start doing that? Then they'll sell, oh my gosh. Are we gonna start selling items that we have? Why do we even use eBay if we have a YouTube channel? Hey bro, who, what, what size are the other ones? Why don't Link, you ask wait, them right now? Link down below. Yeah, I was doing like Depop, like selling clothes on Depop for a while. I might get back into that because I'm thinking get rid of my whole closet, start fresh. Cause I've been wearing clothes, like the same clothes for the past two years, like kind of right. off and on, like mixed in. In fashion, Weird new wardrobe. because like it almost takes time to build the right wardrobe like your closet like i i don't now buy clothes that i all need it to, together once i buy things like oh if i have that shirt i know i have some pants with that i'll just get pants but as i know i have a shirt i like to almost buy pieces and then i have stuff to work with over time mm -hmm. so it's difficult when you've built up a, probably a nice wardrobe but then you're like oh i have used all these pieces so much the, uh, but i want to do more like that because i would have i have random stuff like a whole bunch uh, of random shit so if i have like my staple jacket shirt pants i could almost like inter twine them i know they look good see, that's what i'd be doing well that's what i'd be doing yeah so you have a lot of like yeah. too much miscellaneous yeah things. so recently i've been buying stuff that i really like even if it's quality because either it'll last longer or i just really like it so maybe i just need to get like crocs no i can't i, I gotta have my feet covered you need to be a trendsetter get shoes that no one's wearing right now yeah. sketchers yeah, where's the sketcher store you know Zara be selling shoes, H&M be selling shoes. Snoop Dogg is collabing with Skechers, so Skechers is cool now. What's the whole stigma with Skechers? Why is everyone hating on Skechers? And why do mostly older people wear Skechers and not younger people? Because the older you get, the more you shop for like comfort and support rather than style. Functionality. Functionality. You don't need it to, I don't know, I feel like I maybe dripped out at 60 though. Rob, we just talked about not buying expensive stuff and now you're no, looking at the Cartier glasses. Last time I was here, I was a pro. These are expensive, but they're nice. Look how nice these are. <laughs> It'll last you a lifetime. Your eyes aren't gonna grow. Wear these forever. I'm gonna get some. Not right now. I'm in my saving era. Bro, I hope they have samples. Sometimes they have like a lady that just gives you free chocolate. I never buy anything there, but the just take the samples. Ask them, go in them. there and ask them for a, a free sample. Are you guys doing samples? Yes. Thank you so much. She said, give me a moment. We about to get some samples. It's a lots of life lesson. You never know until you ask. I could have gave up and been like, the, the sample lady's gone. Why didn't I ask? It never hurts to ask. I feel like in life, there's a lot more things you can negotiate with people than you realize. A lot of people are afraid to ask for things. People don't like the tension. When all it takes is that. Maybe that one question or that one reach out could be that next door opening for you. Most people either stay away from it or they don't even budge after like one or two things. They're like, ah. Whether it's a chocolate sample, or whether it's your next job. Do you have a Valentine? Yeah, not yet. Well, it's coming up, right? What day is it? Shortly. So I got six days. A lot can happen in six days, Noah. Anybody want to be Rob's Valentine? This doesn't get uploaded until after. <laughs> Damn it. Damn, see what you started right here? What's this one? Hazelnut. I'll try the strawberry one. Rob's gonna do strawberry. See how one question and one thing kind of like Bro. was able to help multiple different people? Look at that. Hello. I've been watching y'all since quarantine. No way. Like That's four years ago already. You are watching the vlogs. Like, Let's go. We're filming right now. We're gonna stuff. Get a picture with you. Yep. Yeah. I love y'all. Let's go. Thanks for coming up to us. Oh no, yeah, because I'm so nervous. Sometimes we'll meet like we'll see people and they'll just be like kind of like in the back like filming. And I can don't, see them. Don't walk by Rob. <laughs> or they'll be like, that's a YouTuber. <laughs> that's me and you. Got it. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Uh, nice Have a great day. Day. Thank you. People know us. <laughs> see? And it's because I asked to get a Do you see? If we if we would have kept walking, we could have kept walking. You see how everything just happens for a reason? And then the lady, I walked in, you guys doing samples? We can. I was like, oh. 
We waited because we waited and didn't rush. We just got blessed to meet a real supporter. And then earlier you were like, did you eat anything today? I was like, no, I kind of want sushi. And then we went to sushi. And if Matt never came over, we never would have got it on film. So what do we do now? So what do we do? How do we get more great things? <laughs> but then you get greedy with it and you just stand here all day, wait for the next thing to come. We're at Rob's favorite store, Dick's. I brought Noah to this store because Dick's, you know. I'm a dude, but I do like Dick's. Sporting goods. Yeah, you gotta make sure. That you can't. I love Dick's. I love Dick's. Dickies, like the pits? No, no, Dick's. All that I need. They got balls, sticks. You know it was called Chicks before wait, no. Dick's. Really? Dick's was called Chicks? Yeah. When was that a thing? Wait, you don't remember that? <laughs> Maybe that's just a California thing, but it was Chicks. My entire life I always saw Dick's. I have seen... <laughs> <laughs> we need an editor to make a Noah Sus compilation. Like, it's overdue. Are we on public so, or private property I right hate now? Dick's now. They didn't let us film in there. Did you see how excited we were? And then, huh, sorry, you can't film in here. I was excited about Dick's. And now I hate Dick's. What I don't get is like, why can't you film in there? You're Dick's sporting goods. Like, what? what's so, like, what's the rule behind it? But like, we weren't bothering anybody. And I even asked him, I'm like, can we use our iPhone? Nah, you can't really do that either. But what if my kid was shopping, I just wanted to like, oh, look at I'm him. Trying to get his first time at Dick's. <laughs> Rob said, I, I gotta be a trendsetter. Like, come on, look at it. No one's rocking these. They're like an elevated Air Force One. Oh, that's kind of cool. I do have flat feet. I like chunky shoes. Wait, those are kind of hard. What does that say? Nope. Bro. Oh, oh it is Versace, but he's at 930 bucks. Damn. This is hard though. That's exactly what I would want though, like a replacement. Whoa, Balmain is going crazy. Bro, ever since Balenciaga made the triple S's, I swear to God, every brand is copied. Like, nah, stop. How? Where would you wear that? This is like, you gotta be like going this, to Met Gala's on This is fashion like, show, sort of like avant-garde fashion. And every other piece I wear is just expensive all day, every day. Cause I just can't wear these with dickies. Like you gotta have some, like, you gotta have a whole fit. Like this, this only goes with Even this with my cargoes, it's like, what are you trying yeah, to do? Yeah, what are you doing? Who are you, who are you bro? And that's, that's just what this, these, all these designer shoes are too, actually. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Maybe because <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble. Now that's, that's different. Is that a Jeremy Scott's shoe? I feel like maybe I would wear these. Like if I had like pants that kind of cover. It's like a dunk almost with, with short stuff it's like a it's like a belt though it's a belt shoelace where right, i switch it up okay wait the chelsea you know lil nas x uh, kanye sort of started that trend with the skinny jeans the uh, chelsea boot because you could throw on the chelsea and it elevates any fit what about these with baggy jeans yeah see that's the thing everybody's doing skinny bro did you have skinny jeans when you were in middle school high school yeah when the skinny jeans trend came out bro i was trying to find who were you, in, who were you influenced by was it like the new new boys justin bieber i saw justin Probably bieber on JV. ellen wearing in these like skinny jeans and I was like, I have to go buy I'm some. I'm not gonna lie, I would like try to find the brands that JB would wear and then like, oh, there was like the Instagram page. accounts would be like, Justin Bieber's closet and I'd be like, oh, that's the brand? Okay, let me try to get that, whatever. So I like- Really, in high school place. you were finding that stuff? Or yeah, school? high school, Damn. I remember. I saw him wear like a flannel, like a green flannel with a purple shirt. I was like, I need that. Yeah. And then I went and just found those items. Everyone kind of had their Justin Bieber phase, I feel like, or every guy at least. This is a mischief? I might need to try these on. <laughs> Why is the- can we try these on just to try them on? These are like cartoony. Okay, if the regular Balenciaga is already a thousand bucks, we should guess how much. It's gotta be two. That's huge. That's like clown. Have you seen the Balenciaga? Clown Have you seen the Balenciaga? <laughs> you were trying to go to clown school. These are some stompers, bro. <laughs> you see goons about to jump you. They roll up with this. Not even the Tims. These? This no, is this a is a shoe cover, right? Like you could put your whole shoe in there, like if you wanted to, right? What is this? Can I try this on? They didn't even have the price tag on those. We could ask. I'll just try them on. I realize like the model sizes are like usually eight or nine, you know. So oh, hopefully shit. this is my thirteen, so that's not possible. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! What? Hold up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, well, you're like seven foot two. They're now. surprisingly light. Look at the back though. The Balenciaga on the back. Ooh. Why am I kind of pulling these off though? They're I don't know. I look silly right now. Kind of like a swamp fit right now. How they feel though? I feel like I wouldn't be able to step outside seriously with you know what everything looks cooler in the store like just... when kanye west wears something like that it looks fresh but then when i, when I put it on it's like what is this guy trying to bro yeah kanye gets to walk around with his face covered and people are like sensational i try to cover myself up wearing those Wait, what's wrong with that guy? See, I like the McQueens, the way they look, but these are just one of the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever owned, and they burn my feet every single time. Um, to be honest, yeah, no, there's nothing some. sticking out to me, but I do like All Saints, so I might look at their shirts real quick. You weren't gonna get the boots? I think that's like the only one in stock. Oh, okay. So, okay, bro, if I already wear a 13, how big are those gonna look? Did you dance in those? No. Okay. I can barely walk in those. Dude, why do they add this? Though? Because 
Broken hearts. This is actually pretty cool, all this besides the, I was actually down and then, I don't even know what my style is right now. I have to go through a new arc as well. Cause I still like old things I have, but I just wouldn't wear everything I used to wear. And I feel like I'm and picky. And it starts with the shoes. I'm very picky. I'm picky, it's like, okay, these are cool and I'm sure it's good quality, but I just don't like the style of that. I found these in some random town thrift store and I bought them for three bucks and they're like three bucks. And I love them like, oh, those are hard. They're my favorite pants. And they're actually uh, the brand, the real tree. You say a town thrift store? Oh, say a town thrift store? It was like some random ass town, like way in the middle of nowhere. And they had like three stores, three restaurants. And this is that one town, everyone knew each other. And so we went, we went to the thrift store and they had clothes and stuff. And I found these, I said, what mine. What the fuck? it is, Air Forces it is. Just a fresher pair, just like a cleaner pair. <laughs> See, I knew you'd like that thing. Yeah. I'm still a kid at heart. Bay Levine said, never grow up. Oh, you're right. And Glow Yachty's king of the youth. How do you get to just decide you're the king of the youth? Can we be the kings of YouTube? Kings of the youth YouTube. Because kings of YouTube, that's a that's a pretty big draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't want, I, we're not the kings of YouTube. Would you want that much pressure too? Yeah, and no, I wouldn't want that. You're the whole. The princes of YouTube. Maybe not even that. See, the Stanley Cup was able to do what Crocs did. Like Crocs was just supposed to be like for workers, you know, like non-slip shoes and things you could wear like that outside, industrial. Then it turned to like a fashion sort of statement, trend. People are getting Crocs. And Crocs Same are thing mainstream. With the, now they're mainstream because they're able to collab with whoever they did or the stylist they hooked up with to design their Lil, stuff. Lil Nas X has his own Crocs. Stanley was never popular like that in the sort of like pop culture sort of realm. So for, I think it's right. Oh, how long were Stanley Cups around before they took off? Were they around for a minute? They were around for a minute, but it was just like working shit. Like, I think it's the same sort of person behind Crocs as behind Stanley. They made it hard to find this restroom, so I'm glad we- Gotta go too, goddammit. Testing the mic. I wonder if we can pick up the piss from this far. <laughs> right. How's it going in there? Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. I don't know how a guy carved, he like carved his name on the toilet. What's the point of that? He owns the toilet now, I guess. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I'm like, okay, if you're a graffiti artist and you're finding graffiti somewhere, why do they choose a urinal? Come on, bro. I pissed on his name, so he thinks he's somebody. I feel much better. You have to unload to reload. I heard that's a saying, right? I need boba now. Boba time. Because it's like an Asian sort of theme day, you know, the sushi, now boba. But then there's also Beard Papa. They have like the best little pastry desserts. Because you have a beard. And I could be a papa to some people. Maybe we get a discount. Hey, if I have a beard, do I get. Oh, wait, they don't even have all the stuff up. Oh, yeah. That chocolate fondant thing. Holy shit. So these are just puffs. This is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and apparently nobody works at Beard Papa. Damn, Rob got yeah. me a key. Chain and he got his bulba. What a selfless man. <laughs> got the whole fit. Damn, those are the cleanest Air Forces I've ever seen. Rob's gonna take the photo. Oh shit. Oh damn. Okay. He ain't joking. Just taking a whole bunch. He's affiliated with the, the Hooded Gang out here. I don't know what I just got myself into. <laughs> the kids have all these new poses. You're not cool enough, Noah. I'm not. Do I look old? How old do I look to him? Okay, feels like I'm still like, right? It feels like I'm still 19, bro. That's what my uncle told me. He's, he's just turned 60. He said, I feel no different than 18. In my head, I'm like, okay, surely you do a little bit if you're 60, but maybe he truly doesn't. When you're young, you don't think about that, but as you get older, that's what you think about. Chief and Keith, that's his life, man. Chief Keefe just turned 28 and all the kids in the comments saying, okay, unk. Oh, that's me next year. I'm an unk <laughs> next year. I'm not an unk yet. I'm just enjoying my youth, man. I don't know. Do we look old, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. I don't know if I believe that. I need that. the anti-aging. See, I oh, should've shit. got it from the... Bro, I just spilt it on my... Fuck, I got it on the New Balance. Oh yeah, you definitely need new shoes now. Hey, it's a sign. Oh, oh yeah, my it's God. on that one too. Oh my God. You see oh, how it's God. a sign? Bro, it's like really fucked. Wait, can you wash a shoe in a dry cleaner, right? Oh, it's on the other one too? No. Yeah. You know what? I don't really like boba anymore. Think about Matcha it. Matcha splat. Wait, that's a hard design. Matcha splat? Should I splat? spray the rest on my shoe? Like just keep dripping it, you know? Then it's a shoe. This one's not that good. You should have mixed it though. Oh, fuck. Oh. Rob, I don't know a lot of things. You turned it upside down, you know. I already popped it. So now you kind of got the. It's okay. Matt, you thirsty? It's kind of going away. Cheers, everyone. Two. Cheers to Matt. You've been Cheers killing it Matt. behind the camera. <laughs> Hey. No man a mess, so we switched. Uh, <laughs> he's behind the camera now. So, Matt, you filmed about three, four vlogs. What are your thoughts? Because you have a position now where you get to see everything, hear everything, follow us throughout the day. It's solid. I mean, what did you expect? Let me, let me ask you that. What did I expect? That's a great question. Because, like, you guys just did a bunch of, like, skits and reactions. So, like, 
bringing back the vlogs, like, that's like, it's a big thing, oh, yeah, you Because know? uh, they love the vlogs. You watched the videos, right, before? Yeah, I used, to, I used to watch the videos. Um, I still did, like, I still do. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Reactions, the skits. Used to, then he grew up. And <laughs> <laughs> now I'm making the video. That's, that's how I help make it out. Is it fun, though? Are you having fun, or is it just like, oh, I got to film again for these guys? Nah, it's great. <laughs> it's always, I texted Noah yesterday. I was like, oh, you got any ideas for tomorrow's vlog? He's like, uh, yeah, like, we'll, we'll uh, figure something out. Like, we'll do something cool. I show up, ready to film, and he's like, hey, yo, you mind if uh, we just uh, move everything out of the uh, apartment real quick? They <laughs> See, you never know what to expect with the. We, our, we filmed it. We're doing our carpet clean today, so we gotta we gotta move everything. So I became a mover for a few hours, and then now we're here. Hopefully, you guys are liking the video. The but no, because sometimes we'll be talking for like it feels like an hour, and he's just there, just like. <laughs> So I'm not sure where's his like vlog. He's like, oh god. We'll do like a we'll do like a 10 minute. Like, oh yeah, we'll do like a 10 minute piece. I check down on the camera, 46 minutes and roll it. <laughs> That's a lot of footage, Eddie. I also feel like whatever we do, there's always going to be that one person like, go back to doing this or go back to doing that. So we're trying out the long vlogs. An hour, that's a lot of content. So we haven't done that before. Some people hate it, some people love it. I think we'll we'll just sprinkle these long ones in there, but maybe keep them more short. We're trying to see what works, guys. We're trying to figure this out. You guys think we know how answers everything? No. Info. We, we, people upload crazy long hours worth of stuff, live streams and shit. We're just three guys trying to figure it out. I didn't realize how old our carpets were beforehand. Now that the fresh ones here, this is nice. It looks darker, but you said because there's nothing flattening it right now? Yeah, I think the first carpet we had was just so flat down to the ground, no cushion. Technically, you could put like the desk here, camera this way, and we can make a whole set here in the back. But mm. this is still kind of nice. I put the desk right here. Or like, yeah, I just I was just thinking like, imagine it was just a big ass couch there or something. Cause you could literally put a TV there or a TV there. And hey, we're back just in time for Matt and Rob to move everything up here for me. Cause I have to go clean my shoe. You guys saw the match that I got on. It's a little dirty. It's like we just moved out. Like I'm sitting here like, damn, and it's time to go already. But I'm just, we're just feeling the nice carpet. A lot of space up here. I was thinking about <laughs> shit. We're gonna have to carry everything up here. So I'm sushi out right now. We had we sushi with around. a robot waiter. You missed out. I was just getting my tattoo removed. How was that? Painful. Uh, you ever been bitten by a black mamba? No. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's like more painful than the tattoo. And then this kid at the Boba wanted a picture with me. And the second Rob took the photo for him, this is the pose he pulled out. So I made him airdrop it to me. I was like, fuck, I got it. Oh gotta, Lord. What you think of that? I was scared for a second. I thought you pulled something out on me. He stood next to me and then soon as the camera came and went, I was like, oh, we've run. You gotta be cool when you're 17, you know? No, it was funny because he didn't even care about work or nothing. He just saw Noah and he, he took off his he boba off. time apron and just put his gap shirt, zipped it up. Back to work, back to putting boba in the cup. That's funny. How can you be tough doing this? Unless you're a little dirt. Unless you actually got like a weapon, then it's tough. But like if it's nothing, it's a pose, Just man. to signify like- You're hating, dude. It's a cool pose. No, I thought he was joking at first, but he was like serious. Like once the gap got zipped up, that was his persona. But it's like, can you take a picture with Noah, not like someone with Saturn? So it's like- Yeah, because Noah's right there trying to do like a- <laughs> This guy was gangster mode. Yes. This is Ten. Funny, him trying to That's communicate. cool. Yeah, and you'll do. We'll do this floor. Ne this one next. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. See? That's why I live here with you. Guys. It would be hilarious if the whole time you pretended not speak English and then. All right, brother. We'll see you tomorrow. Probably around 10 a.m. That's funny. That reminds me. I was in Japan with my friend Moody, and we were in the shop. And you know, the way there on the plane while we're in our Airbnb, we're trying to learn Japanese words and things just so we can get around and stuff like that. So we leave this shop. We're looking around, and he goes to the worker, "Arigato, arigato gozaimasu." And the guy said, oh, "I'm from Detroit, bro." And we were just busting up because he was over here bowing to the guy, "Arigato gozaimasu." All traditional. He said, "Oh no, bro, I'm from Detroit, but yeah, thanks, bro. Have a good day." So this was in Japan. Or in plane. Japan. Shit. And he was blatantly Asian. He was Asian from Detroit though. Like he was like a street Detroit guy. He said, ah, oh, nah, bro, I'm from Detroit. Well, how was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know, bro? We're in Japan, We're in a dude. traditional Japanese like gift shop. Who's gonna help me carry Vanessa? Matt, because uh, oh, you have, we have, we have a tripod, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. Ryan's like, uh, he's throbbing right now with the lasers. Yeah, look, I got it. can look at the, um. so I'm getting the Mar this whole Maryland flag and M removed. Oh no, Rhino, it already looks so dope, why would you remove it? Does it does look dope. I wouldn't have minded having just the Maryland flag here. I was in a rush to finish my arm at one point and I think I was just going through something. So I got this M, the University of Maryland M, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to put the flag over it and like put them together. But to me, it looks like off. Oh, I see. It doesn't fit okay. the shape of my shoulder where it meets my bicep tricep area. 
area, it, the musculature, I feel as though it's not cohesive with the tattoo. See, and only you would know and you would have those sort of, that sort of perception about your tattoos and how it looks. So yeah, it may look good to me or to anyone watching, but if it doesn't look good to you, that's all that matters. That's what a tattoo is. To me, I'm, I look at it and I'm like, there's other things I could do. That is a lot of ink though. Like how much sessions did they say you're gonna need? It'll take me a year, at, at least. I was flirting with the girl doing it though. She was fucking with me heavy. See, there you go. She was redhead girl. So it hurts, but it also comes with, you know, some love. Yeah, she was like, I was just being super friendly. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna start whining and shit pretty soon, whatever. She's like, you're not allowed to whine. There's a strict no whining policy, whatever. I could just tell I got, she was fucking with me. Yeah. Dang, he got that tattoo removal riz. And I was like sweating and shit. And she was like, I was putting the ice on. She's like, I'm not taking it off. I was like, oh, but the ice hurts. She's like, I don't care. You're gonna just put up with it. But in like a cute, playful. So you had to like be tough the whole time. Like even when that shit hurt it. Cause I know that hurts. Yeah. It hurts. I mean, you had a one, you have one. And it's still there. Cause I decided not to go back because I realized how much it hurt and it'll just be easier to get it covered up. Cause it's not as big as that. Like that's a lot of ink. Ain't no cover up on this one. You can't cover that up. I heard yellow, you can't really get out. Oh, and that's main kind of <laughs> yellow. <laughs> and red apparently turns to some other weird color. So do you have a plan for that area or you just know you want it off for before now? I know I want it off. I have a bunch of ideas, but obviously over the next year, I'm really gonna get to think about what I really want there. Doesn't that make you want to just delete everything and then just kind of start over? Cause I'll look at my arm and I'm like, well, now I probably would have chose something else, but then I'm like, okay, well that's just who I am and what I chose at the time and what I enjoyed and liked. So I'm gonna have to roll with it and kind of like design around it at this point. I have a handful of tattoos that I'm actually surprised how much I like them because when at the time I got them, I was young. I'm still young. But and if you have the luxury to delete them and get a new one, why not? There you go. Yes, it'll hurt like a bitch for a year, but I'm willing to do that. You could have just done the all blackout. You know, that's a thing. Oh yeah. To start fresh. I see young people do that. I really like my arm a lot, except I'm getting this Jesus removed actually. You're getting the Jesus removed? Yeah. It's like, see how it's like already lighter? Wait, he's getting the Jesus removed? I'm putting something even more holy. And the and people are like, oh my God, that one's sick. It's too light in comparison to like the darker stuff I have. There has to be some sort of connection, like spirit, just like deleting Jesus. Well, we got Virgin Mary on my leg though. She's looking out. Oh, okay. See okay. how it cancels out. It cancels out. Cause I was thinking that's pretty sacrilegious, sacrilegious right? Yeah. To just laser him off. I felt bad. I was like, oh, amen. I also have the cross on my neck too. So yeah, so it, ba it balances uh -huh. because you got the cross up here, the Virgin Mary here. I've always got the cross on my back. On my neck, it's always, always got, got your my back. back. I think that was what I was going for. And like, you don't need to see it to know it's there. Amen. <laughs> But I have a bunch that I like, so. You know what I want? This is crazy. I now want a Ric Flair tattoo. Maybe like a portrait of him or something. Cause I like the portraits and stuff. I've been wanting to get a portrait. I just don't know of who yet. There's some family members I want for sure, but like. That's always a good thing to go with first. Yeah, apparently. because you can't go wrong with that. There's just some other ones I want. I'm still working. This one still has to get done. Preacher from the Black Lagoon. That one hurts too much. So like, I've been putting that off, bro. Okay, we're getting our tats this year. Then we'll do the tattoo tour. Yeah. I haven't seen the comment. I'm in the process of getting ripped and then I'm gonna get the tats and then boom. Y'all don't even understand how hard I've been going to the gym. You know, like I just was ranting about earlier with the eating and shit. Yeah, we had sushi, a lot of protein. We had 17 right, plates. Right. I'm kind of hungry right now. What'd you guys bring me? You guys brought me a California roll, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot to order that one. California roll though. It's simple. What'd you get? <laughs> California roll. They have those at AM, PM, bro. Across the street, California roll. No one gets those. That's like the OG sushi. That's for the people that only eat like chicken nuggets and shit. <laughs> like they're really, the picky, like I'll just take a California roll. Hey, it's Black History Month. That means you guys can't be mean to me. Damn, I forgot. That means. Happy Black History Month, dude. Thank you. Oh shit, my bad. Ow. Tattoo. <laughs> so what are you guys doing for me for Black History Month? I mean, Noah was talking about that earlier. We're still planning it. We weren't done with our plan. I know, I'm excited to see what you guys, I know you guys were gonna probably do it something big. We were waiting for the vlog. Exactly, and like, I'm kind of pissed that you brought it up because I don't want to talk about it just yet. It's, it's not ready. Like, you didn't give me the opportunity to even present it. I can't wait. I deserve it. For After all that my people have been through. Oh, good luck with this. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah this is reparations. We would never make Ryan do this during Black History Month. Exactly. We did bring you something back. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? It's a sample size. And I left you some bobas in there. How kind of you. <laughs> boba is good. I, you introduced us to boba. Oh yeah. Years ago. I feel like when Ryan and Noah first started coming to LA and to California in general, they didn't know about a lot of little things. Oh, we're, we're, I'm the most uncultured person. <laughs> Facts. So you Facts. can really get some flavor out here. You know what I mean? Out like, here, sushi, boba, Hispanic women. They don't have those in Maryland or Philly. I'm sorry. No Hispanics in La Plata? Nope. Not maybe one. 
one. <laughs> Damn, for us? No, Literally not any. No. no representation out there. <laughs> Indian, we probably had like Indian. There's like a sprinkling of Indian. Where do most Indians live in the US? It might be worth researching. Man, there were no Latina, there was no Asian. Remember when you were younger and like the, the girls at your high school were like, oh, this is the baddest girl. And then you go and move and explore. And then you're like, oh my God, why did I think she was super cute? There's all this other fish in the sea. That's so true. So if you're struggling with like an ex or something like bro travel and you'll be like, oh, there's more out here. Sometimes all it takes is just getting out of your bubble, getting out of going against the grain sometimes. Exactly. Never make Ryan do this. Mm-hmm. Not, not this up. month. This wasn't included in the carpet. Bro, they fucked up the walls down. Like the going up. Oh, the hit shit? Okay. Yeah. Like there's scrapes on the wall. And they were wearing their dirty shoes on the carpet. The were they actually? The new carpet. The new one? Okay. So I'm like. But they didn't speak any English, so I couldn't be like, what the fuck is this? Zobatos, what the fuck? <laughs> Zobatos, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Zobatos, what the fuck? That's some shit my dad be doing. Like when he's speaking to like a person that doesn't speak English, he'll speak to them in broken English. So oh. they can understand it a little better. <laughs> this happened, we were in Spain in a taxi and my dad was like, is good hotel? Come on, not with the accent. <laughs> okay, wait, that's funny. He broke up his English to kind of, <laughs> without even knowing how the other <laughs> And okay. we have been shitting on him. And that was like 10 years ago. We've been shitting on him. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Is good hotel. Oh, it's hilarious. What did they understand that? I don't even uh, remember. Cause it's still English. So you're actually like confusing them even more. But if you speak in the uh, Zopatos, L, what the f But if you're talking to someone foreign, wouldn't you want to speak proper English? They might only understand key words, you know? No. If you incorporate the charades with the, the key words, it's, you think it's easier for them to understand it. And in most cases, I think it is, which right? is why your dad thought that way. But nowadays, there's just Google Translate. AI, there's that new rabbit um, device. Have you all seen that? I did that in Japan a few times. Like I needed a question, I just typed it out real quick and just showed them and they said, oh yeah. Bro, I want to go to Japan, that would be lit. Strawberry Park takes on Japan. And it's super safe there, you can just pass out in the street, or was that Korea? No, it's really sh safe over there. I was on the public transport, the train stations, the, and there's kids like in their backpacks going to school, swiping in their card. Like they couldn't even reach a thing. They swiped in by themselves. Kids like under 10, Whatever no trash on the floor. Like it, it almost seems like people respect where they live and respect the people around them or almost mind their own business. Asian countries, they, they have a sense of community. Not to say they don't like assimilate with other cultures, but bro, there is a Korean culture. There is a Japanese culture. America, it's like, it's it's supposed to be a melting pot, but... I got back to the AliEx airport and I was like, take me back. <laughs> They're yelling at me already in the airport. Everyone in Japan is so nice. From the airport to 7-Eleven is huge over there. Everyone's... Really? The workers are nice. They bow to you. They wrap up everything so nicely. And I'm like, I just got a candy bar. They'll Meanwhile, the tape on it. I get the... And give them my little thing and they're like <laughs> trying to open up and they're pissed about everything here everyone hates life it seems like here one time i went to the 7-eleven near here the girl was like it was like 5 a.m and the girl's like sitting on her phone in the back like at the cash register i put my stuff up front she didn't even hear me and i just sat there and was like and i, I left i wonder what she would have thought i wanted to do that i left all my stuff there because i was like what if she'll eventually check the counter again mm -hmm. and all my stuff will be there and then she'll feel bad in some spots you can't have tattoos in japan because of yakuza the japanese gangsters you know oh really yeah so we wanted to go to onsen which is like a hot spring but we had to find one where they allowed tattoos to touch the water because it's supposed to be like very sacred oh. or pure they wouldn't let me in but when they think i'm like um um, an NBA player or something? Austin McBroom. They think I'm Austin McBroom. Have you been seeing his Bro, stories? Exactly. He's smart, right? That's He's fake. Hilarious. It has to be fake. I actually gained so much respect for him after seeing his stories and shit. I'm like, this dude's hilarious. Girls keep making memes about like, when I check his following or something, and then it's the Austin being like, <sighs> Okay, everyone calm down. Like, But you see what I mean? Everyone's talking about it. And someone that high up, I think it's formulated somehow or some way. Where they knew the divorce would get a lot of traction and you come up with the RV story. Oh. And DDG smart too. Like he just inserted himself into this whole awesome and group thing. Austin stay with DDG. They're all smart. We got to learn something from God, that. I gotta you know? be more of a social media person. I'll just be regular. We, we gotta stir up some controversy. We consume it too much. We have to create now. Like, let's create some stuff. Like, yeah. Rob will turn trans. Hey, well. <laughs> okay, but what would happen? Okay, I'm trans. Noah's gay. When we did the Reagan Gator video, they were like, Noah has like the perfect face or what all the gay guys would like. And I was like, what does that mean? I would step up for See? the gay community. I get the gay crowd. And Ryan, he can be a transvestite. What, what's a transvestite again? Same as trans. Are, is that the same thing? That don't sound right to say, transvestite. But. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not wrong. I think it's like a guy, but like that likes dressing up as a girl. I was watching a rap battle and they said, he said something about it. Some, some transvestite. You better hope that transvestite. And it was like. I heard one who's like, his name was Bob, the guy he was going against. He said, you know what I'm about to do to Bob? Doodle Bob. Okay, that's good. That's good. Like erase him. I think he actually said me hoy, me hoy after. Anyway, transvestite. Yeah, what's the A difference? person who dresses in clothes primarily associated with the other sex. What's the difference between a tr drag queen and a transvestite? Um, drag queen's more performative. I think transvestite, you just wear that out and about. I bet that transvest is tight. Then that trans dress is tight. Is it a trans? I should probably stop speaking. We could change the subject of the bars. <laughs> <laughs> New carpet. Hey, we got a new carpet. That's a blessing. We can do the low pro profile, no legs on this couch. That'll look cool. I don't even think we tried that. Let's see. I'd help you, but it's Black History Month. Yeah, this is like a low profile, chill couch now. Wait. Okay. It's low profile. I don't mind it. It's inspired by Asian sort of. Low profile on the floor. Exactly. Yeah, because in our Airbnb in Japan, we had to sit on the floor. Like we went to a restaurant where they just had a pillow on the floor, little coffee table sort of thing. I'm thinking about adopting like a, I can't say that on the vlog. We were driving somewhere. I saw this Asian family and then there was like a little girl that was Asian, their daughter. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I kind of want to adopt like an Asian child. Yeah, why can't you say that? Or you can't say what type of? Why can't I have a preference? They can't get mad if you're adopting, right? Oh, you can't adopt someone because you want to adopt a child from a certain culture. You have to, it's not random, right? Like saying that before seeing the options maybe it might be a little wrong. Cause, Cause like, like, there's still gonna be kids there that you can choose from, but he's like, ah, oh, none of them are Asian. Nah, not these. Anything else in the back? But if there was an Asian one that you, in, in the pool of options, you can be like, oh, I want I want the Asian one. Um, Asian babies are cute. That, come, come on, on bro. Just have a kid with the Asian girl. I could. Black, white, Asian. I don't know if I watched a movie or some shit, but like, I just saw the girl and I was like, oh my God. It just touched my heart. Cause I was like, she was so precious. And I was like, I would want to give someone a life that they wouldn't have had otherwise. I guess that is a savior complex in a way. You should just have a kid soon and just kind of see how just it's like. Test it out. I just thought it would be a beautiful thing. Like, wow. And this is so-and-so. We adopted her. And you know, I thought girl specifically because in my brain, I was like, oh, I if I were to have a child, I want a boy. But I was like, you know what? I need a girl. As much as I want a boy so that I could relate to, talk about my similar interests, it would be a challenge having a girl, which is why I'm like, oh, I don't want a girl. But I'm like, yeah, maybe that's what I need. Just try to go for it. I, I kind of Googled like, oh, adoption. But it's like a long ass process. And you have to pay something, right? Damn, do you really have to pay? I thought I'd get money for it. I'm no way you have to pay for a kid. Like how much is this one? 10 grand. Doesn't it need? It's, it's based on genetics. I would love for the any people who are adopted or have any experience about adopting someone, I would love to know what they think. Like, I'd feel some type of way if we were both in the adoption center getting ready to get adopted and you costed a lot more than I did. Well, if I'm a child, I would want to be free. Like, bruh, ain't no price, bruh, just take me. You're kidding me. The adoption process can last as long long and cost anywhere from less than a thousand to more than fifty thousand. And I bet you I know what the fifty thousand dollar ones. It's the African nation ones who will be like incredible athletes and shit. There was a kid I played soccer with, his name was Nelson. I wanna say he was Ghanaian, best fing soccer player on the Planet. Super religious white parents bought him and I knew they had money and he was the f***ing best. Impromptu reaction. I don't like saying reaction. I like saying commentary. We're commentators. You guys have a reaction channel? Oh no, I do commentary we videos. Talk. Professional talkers. Professional talkers. Yeah. Professional yappers. Yeah. <laughs> what a good looking older gentleman. He kind of reminds me of one of my neighbors growing up. Oh, they're pulling on his cheek. Yo. Oh, what happened to his face? Oh, what a beautiful young She looks normal. I think she may have had a little bit of work done of her upper eyelids, maybe her lower eyelids too. What beautiful young woman. This is a face swap procedure? They're doing facelift stretch on people. No, what is that though exactly? <laughs> Take the skin and and go like this. Do they inject something? Is it like a surgery? Oh, like the other they guy. cut it? You saw he had all the scar here. It's like they cut the skin up and strips that shit and then sew it back in. You know that movie Face Off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta? It looks yes. like that where they just yep. stitched a new face on. What? What happened to her earlobes? Oh, what a little grandma. She kind of reminds me a little bit of my grandma. Oh, what a sweet looking woman. Stop. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. That's too drastic. Come on, bro. You almost look better as a grandma. That looks like something out of a nightmare. It a looks like a kabuki mask, like scary to look at. The earlobes. It kind of fucks your earlobes up. Like uncanny valley. If you've yes. you seen this walking outside, I'd be spooked. Yeah, you'll be like, are you Leatherface? Yeah, that looks 
fucking terrifying. People are commenting all over TikTok about this Dr. Kim's results. Is this taking it too far on a 40? That's not the same person. So strange. And yeah, the earlobe, because everything gets sucked back. Oh my gosh. They do all these procedures on a beautiful 39 year old woman or approximately eight to 10 hours of surgery on a 76 year old woman. First of all, no criticism to any of these patients. If they want to undergo a cosmetic procedure and alter their appearance, then that's their business. But every surgeon has to make their decision on what they think is right. And for me, no thank you. I get the small little fillers, you know, fill up your little nose bridge or, but that? I don't think ever, any place does that, right? That has to be like a specialist in a certain place that would you know, do a, a full face, 20 years younger surgery? That's 100% the thing. Probably, but it's on like victims of like, who had their face burned off and shit. Oh yeah, they, that like, is a thing. They stitch on a new face. Like a new, I have seen it before. Would you want a new face? Like if mine got burnt off? Uh huh. Nah, I think I'm just gonna be burn boy. You're gonna be burn boy. Can I pick a guy that looks the closest to me for what it's worth i mean you i'd want to try to get my look back i've grown to love myself what if it's someone that like you don't want, really like enjoy the looks of but like that's the only option you got you know that would suck that sounds i swear i don't look like this it's not really, really me you like, wake up from surgery the doctor hands you the mirror check it out ugly as <laughs> perfect <laughs> Like when the barber fucks you up and you gotta be like, looks great. It's like, what are you gonna say? Your eight hour surgery is done, all stitched up. Okay. <laughs> great job, doc. People say, I care about personality. Personality is what matters. Not on a burn victim though. It's almost like you would have to be with that person before that. I would say it's harder after the fact. Appearances do to matter. To say like, oh, I was with you beforehand, so I know who you are as a person. But how do you say, how can you portray who you are as a person to somebody that can only see you for your burns? It's, you. it's tough. What happens with people who do go through horrific accidents, whatever, maybe lose a limb or whatever, God forbid anything bad, and their partners, do they leave them or do they stay with them? I've seen cases where they leave and cases where they stay. And that's the true test. I heard that some lady got sued by some guy she was with because they had babies together, but the babies were ugly. And then he found out that she got all this procedure done. So what he married and had sex with wasn't even what he thought she looked like. It was just this, this put together perfect person, injections, implants. And then if you, you they looked at pictures from before and it's like, oh, that's who I started my life with? Now I would be on his side, except for the fact that bruh, how stupid are you that you How dumb are you? How did you not see that? So I L on his part. No, yeah. You're beautiful just the way you are. That's what I say. I advocate for natural beauty. I'm just thinking looks really do matter a lot. That's why when you have a certain look, you gotta optimize your looks as best as you can. Attractive people get more job opportunities. People perceive them, they treat them nicer. People treat attractive, good, ugly equals bad. That's true. Same reason people love butterflies flies but hate moths it's the same creature one's beautiful one's hideous yeah how do you objectively find out what you look like because everybody be swearing they look great you have to go on a jubilee episode yeah. ranking by attractiveness <laughs> and then read the comments somebody that doesn't know you would have to give you a rating so you would have to go on fiverr and find someone that ranks people or honestly or something you would have to send i was gonna say have a female that you know send your picture to a bunch of girls that don't know you and and rank you and then the girl gives you back your rating of what the girl said that could be good but then their friend might think oh this might be your friend so i don't want to give them like a, a bad rating it won't be truly anonymous or truly like that's true you gotta do something real like you have to ask someone who's like autistic that has no filter oh my god that's a good point that's why i've been watching the love on the spectrum show it's my new favorite show they got a new season i love that show i was checking i was almost i was there when they were filming at the pasadena Comic no way i was there i tried to find myself in the background i wasn't and you know why that show is so good because out of any sort of love romantic show like like reality show, that's the only true, honest sort of behavior you're gonna get. Like when you, you go on a reality show or a dating show, it's always, you put on an act for a camera, you see that all the time, people acting a certain way. Yep. But when you watch Love on the Spectrum, it's just true, raw emotion and just how they act. Mm -hmm. Unfiltered human thoughts. Most people just put on a, a mask for a different situation. I'll go to a thing and put on the this mask. Even though you think you're being like, oh, it's really me. Mm -hmm. It's not really though. People rate other people's attractive if you do a scale from one to 10, people typically rank it on like a grade scale. 70% is C, so seven means C, six means D, mm -hmm. five is F and below. That's not true. You're right. Five is middle of the row, five is basically C. Cause people, if you rank some, oh, rate me seven. <gasps> what the fuck? Dude, that's high as fuck. 
I would say seven is high. I would almost be like five is more, yeah, like down the line. Like I wouldn't say you're, you're ugly if you're a five. 10 is subjective. I would probably never name anyone a 10. I think eight and nine is so beautiful where it's like you're getting stopped at by your waitress who's like, oh my God, you look incredible. Mm -hmm. Like that's what a true eight or nine is. So I've seen that before just across every YouTube video, comment sections, whatever. If I say, oh, this girl's about a five. Rhino's been in LA too long. He thinks the girls, with, I'm like, bruh. Because it's attached to somebody's looks and that it's attached to self-worth. Self-worth. The safe answer is always, I think I'm a seven. Everyone thinks they're a seven, but it's like average is four, five, and six. Everybody can't be sevens. Someone's lying. Someone's delusional. Yeah, the scale thing is funny because yeah, everyone's scale is different. If you think about it, my 10 is different than your 10. Your 10 is different than Noah's 10. Yeah, there's a subjective, like maybe a general where you can probably place people, but everyone has their own spectrum in their head. I that think- they judge it off of. I think there's like a, you might rank someone a nine and I might think they're a seven, but if you think someone's a nine, I would and think there are three. That's true. I think there's there is variation within a little bit of a range, but not too far. Yeah, but then you can ask someone in a different country or something like that, you know, mm. or, or someone that doesn't leave their hometown. If you mm. ask them and ask you or someone that has seen a lot of people and experienced a lot of things, mm -hmm. a 10 to them might be a three to you. That's valid. I don't think like beauty being in the eye of the beholder, I think that beauty is more objective than people are willing to admit. Like you could pop up two faces and be like, which one's more attractive? 90% of people are gonna be like, clearly this one. Yeah. Uh, there's a test, I think it was on like Wheat Waffles or something. No, some we shit. watched the video, we haven't dropped it yet, but there's like, a yeah, don't talk to girls if you're ugly, sorry. Like, I wonder how they look now though, you know? That was three days or a week after, like hopefully it kind of heals to the point where it's looking like a little bit more natural because at this point, if it looks like that, you might've been better off kind of just staying. People be doing shit, trying to up their looks, but then it does the exact opposite. Like, they don't know. wouldn't you be scared if you looked in the mirror and you're like, wait, that don't look like me. I'd be scared. Like those pictures, the before and after were so drastic to the point where that would freak me out. Like imagine that one specifically the Asian woman, the older one rolling over in bed at you at night. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. That's horror movie shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Sorry, Grandma, but what the fuck were you thinking? Who fucking told her that? Who gave her a phone and let her even discover the internet? She would have just been happy doing her thing. Hi. What's your name? Margot Parker. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles. I grew up out here in the valley. Where are you from? I'm from Maryland originally, Southern Maryland. Have you ever been to Maryland? No. When did you move here? Four years ago. It's pretty recent. How old are you? 22. How um, old are you? <laughs> do you know how old I am? No, I don't. Take a guess. 24. I was 26. That was close. I'm about to be 27 in September. Do you believe in astrology? Like the Gemini. Uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, really? I don't know them that well. I know I'm a Gemini. That is Gemini behavior, Rob's a Gemini. When's your birthday? June 7, 2001. Wait, what's your birthday? Judy. Oh my God. You're an actress. Yes. I just booked something, so. Yay. Yay. How much are you getting paid? You're not allowed to say. You probably shouldn't say. I probably should, yeah. They I, tell I, you the payment though. I could say it, but it sounds like, you know, even if I'm making a certain amount, my agent gets something, my manager gets something. Mm, valid. The, the producer, everybody gets a piece. So it's like, I'm not even ending up with much. And taxes. It's just more so for the, the exposure. So you have an IMDB and everything. IMDB, uh, Actors Access, um, all of them. That's exciting. Uh, this one's gonna be fun because I'm like the lead in it, so she doesn't die. Mm. <laughs> Is there like dark secrets of the Hollywood industry? Did they put you in a dress? This is new. I only started like maybe like three years ago. I've just gotten pretty lucky. So. Oh, okay. So you haven't seen people getting taken in the back room? Oh. I've not been taken into said back rooms. Oh, okay. But I've heard of them with people that I've worked with. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Wayne Knight had a lot to say about it, actually. Wayne. <laughs> Wayne? <laughs> if you see this video, you can comment on it. He had a lot to say about it. He was in a Jurassic Park or like Seinfeld. Okay. He played Newman in Seinfeld. I don't know if he goes. I was, that's like not really my Just crazy. Era. Seinfeld was really, really, really popular. It's a very big show, but very. it was never my squeeze. Keenan and Cal was more my flavor. I'm curious to know how much auditions it took before you booked your first role. Like I said, I got really lucky. Yeah. So I think I booked my second thing I ever went out for. And it was a lead and it's on Amazon Prime. Go check it out. What's it called? It's called If Walls Could Talk. If Walls Could Talk. Yeah. Damn, we might have to watch it tonight. No, it's my first acting gig now. Did you do a good job in it? No. It took me 40 auditions to book my first thing and it was Kids Pop. Oh, so you act? I'm in a movie that's on Netflix. Nice. I'm a Netflix star. You're in a movie that's on Netflix? Jack and Jill's on Netflix. Though. Oh shit. Look, these are my kids. Jose, Jose Junior, and Josefina. 
They are beautiful. Hi, hi. They all look like my wife, thank God. Rob has an acting history. We just make our own films here. I like this though. We're just raw and uncut. No one has to pick us to be to land anything. You can be the star every time. And my ego loves that shit. I'm like, in the <laughs> script, Rhino gets the girl in the end. Every time. Even though it's not real life. What perfume are you wearing? Baccarat Rouge. Smells just like my ex. Just forgot I'd point that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were just in, where the hell were you? Some Big Bear Lake or some shit? I was in Lake Arrowhead filming. Arrowhead. Arrowhead. Filming, what were you filming? Skits. Oh, okay. Happy Black History Month. How black are you? My dad's black Brazilian and my mom's Middle Eastern. I did the like the 23 and me. You did do that? I did do that. Okay. My dad's Nigerian. How do you feel about adoption of kids from like different ethnicities? Is it fucked up to be like, I want a Cambodian one? I think adoption's great, but I think there's so many kids that you can adopt here that are homeless. Valid. You don't have to go somewhere else because I mean, there's so many homeless kids. You can just adopt someone. For free? No. You really gotta pay. Yeah. Rob and I were just talking about this. It takes like, a lot to adopt somebody. If it is by price. Do they price the kids? No comment. Okay. Actually, I think fostering though, you get paid to foster, but oh. adoption's different. So you can foster for free. But you get you get government You get assistance. paid, I think like, what is it, monthly? I don't know, monthly, I think. They get, you get a check. That's what I'm saying. You pocket the check and then you feed the kid chopped up powdered donuts. Yeah, you and, deprive the kid. Yeah, and then you-, you get new Jordan. Yeah, because what's the check like? Probably, what, a grand, minimal? Okay. How much does it cost for a kid per month? A lot. Like, kids are expensive. They take all of your money all of your time and all of your sleep. 25. I don't have one, but oh. that's what I've heard. When do you want kids? Eventually. When? At some I point. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to happen eventually. Not now. Well, maybe not. Yeah, not You're now. In your, your acting era. Yeah, I can't really get pregnant right now. That would really put a dent. In well, tell you could get pregnant. I could. Yeah. Well, mm, I mean, technically. I could. Yeah. You're not, are you dating anyone? No. Mm, that means you're talking to someone. Everybody's talking to somebody. Damn, that's right. tough. That's, well, not everyone is talking to what? someone. You're talking to like 10,000 women. Some people are genuinely by themselves. You just got your hair done. I did, I did. It's for something, actually. <laughs> What's it for? You doing like a photo shoot? No, no, more like. Well, it looks nice. Thank you, yeah. I haven't had it like this in a while. This obviously is like half yours and half fake. It's like fake from the top. It goes from like oh, here, X? and then like my actual hair is like right here. So yeah, all of this is very fake. They use like real hair though when they braid it in. Do you know like what ethnicity of girls hair it is? I heard that they use Indian women's hair. I know with hair. extensions, they usually use Russian hair. Shout out Russia. Well, we're gonna attempt to have you be in one of our reaction videos. You've never been in anything like that I before. Haven't. What is a reaction video? Kind of what it sounds like where you just sit and react to a video and you can say whatever you want. Yes, Rob? <laughs> I'm gonna try to attempt to hit the trippy red thing. I don't have a mic, so can you say it for me? Rob's gonna attempt to hit the trippy red little toy statue thing over Aww. there with the Nerf gun. He's got four attempts. I'm using the first shot to gauge how my other shots are gonna go. Okay. That was pretty close. Maybe he should just have it on the trippy. <laughs> I wanna try. Holy Did it even shit. go? Fuck. Like how she's using this, her hand is steady. Damn. Oh, that was the closest one, yeah. That's close. Damn. Damn, that's tough. I, 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 I tried. Okay, that's tough for your shot. Oh! Damn. First try. Oh. 